Hi, I'm Katie, and I'm here to tell you my spinal CSF leak story. My story starts about 10 years ago. I was reading a book on a raft at our cabin, and I got up and had an immediate, sudden, debilitating headache. So the next day, I actually went to our local hospital. They gave me two non-targeted blood patches, and I got great relief for about 10 minutes. They kept me in the hospital about two days and really could find nothing, so I was released to go home with a neurology consult. It took me about two weeks to get in to see the neurologist. And when I did, he was dismissive of my symptoms. Meanwhile, I had not been able to get my head off a pillow. He said, we've given you the steroids. You appear to be getting better through the steroids. I think it's just going to take time. Your body will heal. It's just going to take time. And it did. Eventually, I healed. And I went on to have really nine years of a pretty normal functioning life. And then there was the motor vehicle accident, very minor. I was in a parked car, which was rear-ended. And with that became a whole nother set of symptoms. I had an immediate feeling of a balloon being released into my head and neck. So I ended up seeking treatment, chiropractic and other things, as I tried to come back from this accident, never putting together that it could have been back with a spinal CSF leak because I didn't have any of those symptoms, but the symptoms I did start to have were a lot of neck and back pain, um, stiffness, I felt it in my eyes, I felt it in my ears. So I eventually asked for a um, head and um, back MRI from my internal medicine doctor, and that came back conclusively with a spinal CSF leak. So from there I was referred to a neurosurgeon and he said, you don't have any of that this time, so I'm going to ask you an important question. Do you have positional headaches? And I said, no, I don't have positional headaches, just this constant pressure. And he said, you do not have a spinal CSF leak then. I was fortunate enough to see a team of experts in the field of spinal CSF leaks. They definitively diagnosed that yes, in fact, through some additional testing that they did, they were able to find the exact site of the leak and put a plan together. I chose to proceed with surgery. I could immediately tell the difference in my head. My thinking was clear. My eyesight, my vision had changed that fast. My hearing was back to normal. I didn't have the feeling that I was underwater. Interestingly enough, the surgeon came out of my surgery and said to my husband, she had a very old bone spur, she had a very large leak. She would have never healed on her own, and I don't know how she was functioning at the level that she was functioning all this time. I am nearly one year post-surgery, and I feel great. And for those who are suffering from this, I really give a message of hope. I am so hopeful that through the Spinal CSF Leak Foundation, we are going to get answers, more answers. They're going to keep coming and there is hope for each and every person who's suffering from this.